Are we recording? <laughs> you know, yeah, we are. <laughs> Hi guys. I want to like um, make a um, a different video. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. But if you can see in the title, I'm not gonna do any like mukbang that Nick cut off a cuddle does, because I'm not that crazy about it. But I'm here to like uh, review some uh, Japanese uh, candy I got from uh, Amazon. So. Yeah, I think it's gonna be uh, quite a mess, so I'm just gonna step back from the keyboard and all that. I don't wanna get it messy. So, yeah, we're gonna try like a uh, one by one uh, Japanese candies and uh, rate them. So. Okay, we should choose some. Let's uh, try this, for example. So, yeah. I probably don't understand uh, Japanese, so um, I'm assuming these are like uh, potato chips. The, the tiny little uh, ones I uh, got from that you see in the store. They're like dried tater tots, but different. Let's try them. They're like a little delicious. I think I might taste a little bit of of a ketchup leaf. I mean, they might taste a little great, but hold on a second. I might have to put them in the box afterwards, so I don't have to like uh, put them in the bag. I have to make sure my cat doesn't like uh, jump in there. He loves to jump in boxes. I think I'll give these candies a... Um, hmm, 8 out of 10? Because they may be good, but they're not like... Literally like a little bit delicious. Alright, next one. We have another one. Probably the same one, but... They, based on the uh, pictures... Like I say, I can't read Japanese because I don't speak Japanese. I may say certain words like konnichiwa or something. To judge from the picture, they look like onions. So, I'm assuming this is like an onion flavor. Okay. Okay, they're not as bad as uh, these ones, so I'll give them a 9, because that, the other one tastes like a little bit of ketchup -y. All right, so we have a, uh, I don't know what's this, but I forgot what's the cat's name from this uh, anime. I used to watch it, and now I forgot the name of it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I have to use my mouth in order to, like, um... Get it. Ah, I see. They're like a stick. They're like a stick thing. Well, let's try, uh, one. Not bad, they're like a little sweet cheese, uh, thing that you would have in a, as an American snack. So, um, I'll give these a uh, 6 out of 10, because it's a little, it's a little sweet. Alright, next, uh, candy. Plenty of uh, things to go through. I don't know. I'm assuming this is a kind of like a gummy uh, Coca-Cola. 
Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, this is something I wouldn't. Oh yeah, definitely smells like. Definitely smells like Coca Cola. Not that cherry ones I had at college. No, no, these. Oh, I think they're, a little, they're a little sticky, so I'm afraid I'm gonna eat like a wild person. Not bad. I mean, it's just Coca Cola, but in, in a gummy. Hmm. Tastes del. I wouldn't say delicious because I always have um. These uh type of candies before, but. But to be fair, I'll give it like a um. Half like, five out of ten because. Basically, I have like Coca Cola, like some days. There's a lot of candies here, so, um. Wait, what flavor was this? I'm assuming there are like some flowers I can remember. Okay, let's uh, look at this uh, weird, uh. Thing. It says. Ka. Ka. Bu. Kaboki or something? Sakuru? Okay, I try not to be disrespectful here. I just uh, read out the title. Yeah. That's cool or something. Let's, uh. Let's try these. Ah, so there's some like kind of like sweet and sour thing. Not much about its flavor, just very caramel uh, rice cake. I'll get this like for a ten because I don't know about that. All right, next uh, Japanese cam candy. Looks cool. Because basically these are these are like lovely um drawings. Love to the cherry blossoms because cherry blossoms season is common in uh, in Japan, maybe around like uh, East Asia, but the ones I know they're they're talk about are in Japan. And these are like the mochis, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you may see the pelicos I uh, do that on Monster Hunter Rise, but it was inspired by a real life uh, event. And if you watch the like the big like story theme, you can actually uh, understand uh, the very cool like uh, fuck, what's it called? Um, oh yeah, the the hitting on the stick, hey, hey. Huh? Yeah. like a mochi or something. I forgot what these are. Candies are. I mean, I wouldn't. Ah, they look like little uh, things. Uh, let me try it out. They're like um, they're like a uh, fried on flavored uh, potatoes. In my taste buds, as a fair warning, no disrespect to the candies, but it's a uh, it's my opinion on my taste. So I'll give these like uh, three out of, out of ten because it tastes like a dried like unflavored potato as, as I said. There's so many candies to like uh, choose from it because I order like a like sort of a box of it. Ah, this is interesting. 
<laughs> Pika Pika. A uh, Pokemon, uh, I'm assuming gum or something. Ryan, the amazing Ryan Reynolds, uh, Pokemon. It doesn't look like much of a gum, but let's try it. Alright. Alright, it has a, diff a different flavor, but. Do I roll it? Like I said, I don't speak so much Japanese or read Japanese, so. I might not know the candies are purposes, so. I think it has a hint of a little bit of horseradish or something. Oh. And then meanwhile to gum, I'll just rate this as a uh, 6 out of 10 because that's a unique flavor, but I gotta share my dad some uh, of the treats, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I gotta share my, my dad some of the candy. And then let's look at another This is interesting, but I think this is a uh, wasabi plant. Yeah, I did watch a video that what a wasabi plant looks like. And according to them, they're actually really expensive. I mean, they had to they grow rarely. They had to grow in like in some type of mountain or something. I've seen that in the video. Oh yeah, definitely like a wasabi thing. But the, the real ingredients for the the average wasabi is uh, to get this uh, spicy taste that you uh, know is a um, horse root. Mainly a, a little bit of wasabi and the uh, main ingredients are uh, a, too much of horseradish. Oh god! Oh! Ah, oh, it's so spicy! Whew! Well, if, good thing it's not that spicy. I tried worse. But yeah, it was hitting my taste buds. I'll give this a 7 out of 10 because. Because the spices didn't affect me, but still, it's spicy. How do I put this up properly? Or I just eat it by myself. Huh. Uh -huh. Seven. Alright, next one. One time done too. Alright, <laughs> Looks like we have a mini Slim Jim. The average Slim Jims in America are so long, but these are mini. And I don't mind them, but let's see what they taste like. A little mini, not so spicy. doesn't have any flavor or something just um, a meat type I will give this uh, a half five uh, ten because it's unique that it's just a, like a uh, meat but just a uh, all right all right all right we do have these uh, candies uh, this I don't know what it is, but um, let's try it. 
You may be wondering what I'm gonna do with the rest of the candy I just uh, tried. Well, I'm just gonna eat it. Looks like a. This is like a dry plume or a date. You know the. And before we try the next candy, I was going to tell you a weird story. Why well, was. Even though I thought it was a date or something. You know the strange thing about dates? That I thought they were poisonous because of the Indiana, Indiana Jones uh, scene. Which in reality. Somebody just put poison in there. So. Yeah, Indiana Jones can be cruel. So we have this, like, uh. I'm assuming this is one of these, uh, Japanese, uh, soda things you got in. I actually did try them, and they were hard to, like, uh, open because they. Uh, you had to, like, press down on the glass thing in order to drink it. I, I think the purpose of those glass things are just to, um. To make it the fizz effect. Okay, it's like a flat out uh, candy, but we got squished at the way at the way here. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Hmm. And get that gummy taste. So I'll rate this in a um. So let's go. And a six. Because it's probably just one of these. No, it's probably just one of these uh, sodas. Okay, we have more of these. So we're gonna just try out these uh, Cheetos on a stick, Cheeto stick things. I mean, if you want to like get more of these uh, Japanese uh, candies uh, near you, you can go to like a uh, buy or for your entertainment. Hmm. Tastes ketchupy, but. I'm assuming this is based on the picture. I think this is supposed to be like some kind of uh, fruit punch. Yes, looks like it. Oh wait, no, it's an octopus. It looks like. I mean, the, the pink looks like a like a fruit or something. Oh god. But I give it like three because basically that might be the same flavor. In this one, maybe have like a um. Chimichanga uh, flavor, Deadpool's uh, favorite uh, food. He's probably at Canada with uh, Ryan Reynolds. Oh wait, no, I think Ryan Reynolds lives in the United States now because of the movies or something. Actually, no, he, he's a citizen. What am I saying? Sorry, Ryan Reynolds. No disrespect. You always make Canadian jokes. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Looks a little still out of three because it, it kinda tastes the same. And I'm assuming for this is like some kind of like explosive thing. Right now be pop rocks. And yes, the pop rock basically with a soda and while your wound is a myth. Because the stomach acid dissolves like quick. Kind of quickly. Woo! I'll give it a four out of ten. It's a, it's a different flavor, but a little spicy. We have a, like a. I'm assuming this is like some kind of cheeseburger uh, flavor. So like, uh, let's try that. Yep. You guys have a little taste of like a the instant ramen noodles you always buy in in stores. 
Five out of four. Four out of ten because it's still the same. And I'm assuming this is like a corn flavor. If anyone, you know, I think I should ask a Gaijin hunter because he's a because he's a he lives in Japan, so he probably knows about these candies. All right, they're unique because. This one's sweet, and and some of these are like a cheese, cheese flavor. So uh, half. Oh wait, I missed one. No, I missed two. Like a uh, this one is like a clown uh, flavor. Well, let's try that. Three out of ten because it's still a cheese thing. Cheese flavor to my taste buds. And a sock. And it has this thing as a soccer thing. So, um... Tastes like a sweet version of the cheddar popcorn that you always have. So I'll give it a half. Hey, we have. I'm assuming this is like Tataki sauce or something. Looks cool, but let's see. Probably in the next video I'll try like a uh, Spanish candy, but they're too much fat, so I need to be careful. That's nice. Let's put it in. Yeah, I think. Tastes good, but it hasn't impressed me, so um, 2 out of uh, 10. I'm assuming these are like a corn uh, flavor chips or something. Let's try that. Well, wow, they're they're a bit sticky. I don't know if they're. Okay. Tastes like a. Like you actually like, eat plastic, but I can have like a little uh, spice flavor. So I'll give this a uh, six out of ten. All right, this next one is. Like a rame uh, flavor, or a tiny little rame, but it shaped as a candy. Hmm, that was bad. So they taste like dried. <laughs> Sorry, I got hair in my. So I'll give this a, a half. Look at that. A smarty version of a Japanese. No, sorry. A Japanese version of Smarties. That's what Rest says. Smarties are for fucking dummies. <laughs> Alright. Damn it. It's bubble one. They taste a little chalky, but I see how it's going. I'll give this um, 3 out of 10 because it tastes a little chalky, but still, I have Smarties like a lot. And this next one is like a 
find out what it is, but let's try it. Probably, probably like a, probably like a raw version of of a sauce. Still have that, so I'd give this a four out of ten because it's unique. All right, next one we have these uh, like um. Have you probably seen these like a uh, rocky sticks? Except they're like um, I think these are like vegetable sticks, like ver vegetable versions of these sticks. I'm pretty sure they sell these uh things in Japan, but so they look like pretzels, but who knows? Not as bad as, but that's all I'll give this, um, five out of, um, or no, uh, four out of ten. Based on this, it looks like a Pepsi, uh, logo. Pepsi Man! And yes, Pepsi Man is actually a Japanese uh, mascot of Pepsi, even if the commercials take place in, in the United States. Milky way, Milky way, but with the balls. Let's try this. Hmm. Yeah, probably these uh, type of candies you can eat. I give these um seven out of ten because they're they're probably like the skittles I had. All right, now we have these like pan melon flavor uh, panda things or pan pandor pandoro. Ah, I see. I see. It looks like a little. It looks like a little cookie. A little cookie that is shape of a panda. That's very cool. Let's try it. Hmm. Oh, to be honest, we always, I always try, I always have the uh, the um, watermelon flavor uh, candies, but having a melon flavor candy. Or cantaloupe, or whatever. And it tastes really good for a cookie. I'll give this all. Is, um. Sorry. Is, um. I, I, I can't talk with my mouth full. That's considered to be rude. So I'll give these uh, an 8 out of 10. So delicious. First we have this um, cute little uh, Winnie the Pooh uh, Japanese uh, marshmallow. I'm assuming it is. Well, we, we should uh, try out. Wow. Wait. This is not a, your typical marshmallow. This one is a, have a little filling. Yeah, it, it, it has it is. Wow. So yeah, it's it's delicious. I'm assuming this is a strawberry flavor. 
So I'll give this a eight out of ten. Very uh delicious with the uh, strawberry flavor filling. Now we have these like um they look like sugars or rock sugars or something. Ah, why do I like use my mouth? I'm assuming this is like the dongle uh, flavor uh, sugar rocks. That looks very uh, good and tasty. It's, uh, there's only two uh, greens in there and a few whites, so let's uh, try the green. What would this? So basically, they taste the same, but just different colors. I'll give this a 6 out of 10, because I'm not sure about that. We have these, like, I'm assuming this is gum. But we're not gonna go through it. We have to find a thing that may. is this. I'm assuming this is a. We can't tell if, it, if it's a lemon or not, because we haven't tried it yet. I need to get some scissors. Ah, oh, there's the scissors. Alright. Get them scissors. So, uh, careful. Outside. It's gonna be a little dangerous if I, uh, lick the scissors. Wait a second. This is like some kind of, like a semi gummy liquid thing on there, like some kind of like popsicle stick. Wow! And the banana flavor, and this is like banana flavor. So I, so I give this a nine out of ten because I'm impressed with that. Now, lastly, and not, last but not least, well, I mean, last, because this, I think this is like some kind of chewing bubble gum. Ah. Uh. This is different. Is this some kind of draw breaker or something? Let's find out. Wow. This is like... What? This is like a popsicle. A popsicle. This is like a soccer with a stick. 10 out of 10. I'm impressed with that. I'm really impressed. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you don't mind if you can uh, like and subscribe, please. Please. And also, well, I'm gonna. The main channel, the um, gaming channel, and this channel will have a, a little delay because I'm doing a documentary on the uh, YouTuber Kiwis. The one who got away. So there's gonna be like some delays in the channel. So um, I I'm so excited to do this project. I know that Nicholas Diorio did one, but it's my turn. All right, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.